I know the American people are ready for change because I've seen them. I've traveled all across the country and we've been getting these enormous crowds. People engaged and interested in the campaign, asking questions, watching the debates, read the policy papers. Now, I have to admit that part of the reason people have been so engaged in this campaign is because they know that in November we are going to be selecting the next president of the United States of America and they know that if nothing else happens, the name George W. Bush will not be on the ballot. something they want to they want to be for something they want to be for something they want to believe that we can still join together and solve some big problems problems that George Bush may have made worse but problems that we've been talking about year after year after year after year for decades now I mean think about it. we've been talking about health care reform for decades through Democratic and Republican administrations and yet nothing's happened and you know why? Because the insurance and the drug companies spent $1 billion over the last 10 years preventing reform from happening. So it's not enough for us just to have good policies. We've got to change our politics in Washington if we want real health care reform. The same is true on energy. We've been talking about energy legislation for decades. But nothing happens because the oil and the gas companies are busy writing the energy policies in Washington. If we don't change our politics, we cannot change our policies. And that's why you are so important, because I have consistently said that change in America doesn't happen from the top down. It happens from the bottom up. It happens because the American people are ready for change. Because you are ready for change. If you're ready for change, we can go ahead and tell the uh, lobbyists that their days of setting the agenda in Washington are over. They did not. They have not funded my campaign. They will not run my White House, and they will not drown out the voices of the American people when I'm president of the United States of America. If you are ready for change, then we can go ahead and take those tax breaks away from companies that are shipping jobs overseas, give those tax breaks to companies that are investing right here in the United States of America. We can start restoring some balance to our economy. I mean, the notion that CEOs are making more in 10 minutes than ordinary workers are making in an entire year, and it's the CEOs that get the tax breaks. That is a scandal. We need a president who's not just representing Wall Street. We need a president who's representing Main Street. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close those corporate tax loopholes and tax havens, and we're going to give tax breakers to hard-working Americans who deserve it. 
Jobs all across rural South Carolina. 